Mike's music method. <laughs> Simon and Garfunkel's Kathy's Song. This is one of my favorite songs to finger pick. I actually learned it years ago and would cover it and sing it. Um, and then when I was knew I was going to put it up and do this video, I kind of really got in there, did the nuts and bolts and figured it out. Um, if you listen to the recording and you try to play along with it, you're going to notice he's a little flat. The guitar is not E flat, but it's not E. It's in between. If you have a tuner where you can adjust the hertz, put them down to about make A instead of 440, drop it down to 426, and you should be right in the ballpark of, of what the guitar is tuned to on the recording. But in this video, we're, we're just going to keep it in standard E tuning, so you don't have to do any of that now. It's only for the sake of practice. Let's get into this one. It's great. If you're just new to Travis picking, this is not a beginner song. It's rather difficult. So check out one of my playlists for Travis finger picking, and there's all sorts of songs on there that you could learn first. But if you're ready for it, let's do it. This song has a very cool intro. We start with our fourth fret on the fourth string. And we're just gonna hold that down. Fourth fret, fourth string, F sharp. And um, with my thumb, going back and forth between the fourth and the third. That's the fourth fret, the third string is open. And then in between, I'm hitting the high E string. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. And then it ends with a walk down. Fourth finger, right? Fourth fret, fourth string. Down to the second fret of that fourth string. Here's the second half of the intro. Um, the verse is picked differently even though it's the same chord, but this part is so cool that we gotta spend some time on it. Very tricky. Um, the chords are easy, it's just a G chord. All we need is the third fret of the sixth string. Then it's a C chord with a G in the bass. So I'm keeping that third finger there and adding these, right? So it's the um, first fret, second string, second fret, fourth string, and that's still in the bass. Now the thumb, we got something cool. We're gonna hammer, here, let's practice this first because this is gonna be the trickiest part. We're hammering these two together. So my thumb is playing the fourth and my index or my middle finger is playing the second string. Now I'm gonna hammer both of those together and then later on, they pull off together. So that's something you need to practice if you don't have that idea down. To get a good clean sound. Okay, now my thumb is going back and forth between the sixth and the fourth. But on the second beat, hammering down, right? I'm just going to do both of those together. Sorry, both of these together, because we will add that high melody note in a second. So thumb alone, hammer, then pull off, and then just leave it open. So hammer on the fourth, sixth, pull off on the fourth, then those are open on the top with that third fret still down. So you got the hammer on, so let's, let's add the rest of it. All right, so we have thumb, hammer on, thumb alone on the sixth. Then my index plays a quick open on the third string on the and beat. So. And then my thumb gets the next note here, and that's when I do the pull off. And even though I'm only hitting the fourth string, I'm still pulling off with both of these fingers to get the sound. So, thumb, hammer on, pull off, thumb, index, thumb, pull off, hammer on, pull off. And then the next ends like this, um, it's all open, thumb alone, fourth and second together, thumb alone, that index on the third string again, and then thumb alone. So six, four, and two. Six, three, four. Giving you string numbers now, right? Six, four, and two. Six, three, four. So that whole thing together now. Oh, I'm sorry.
I promise that was that's like the hardest part of the song. It, it, there's more left hand stuff, but that pattern's really tricky. Let's now dive into the verse. The right hand pattern is finally going to repeat and be way more straightforward. Here's the right hand pattern basically for the entire verse. Um, I'm just going to hold down that third fret on the sixth string to imply the G chord here, and let's let's take a look at this pattern. It does this on different chords and different string sets, but that's the idea. I have um, sixth string with second, then my thumb plays the fourth alone, and my index plays the third string right after that. So it's six and two, thumb on four, and then index on three. And then thumb on six again, and then that open on the second string. So they're not together there. Here they're together at the beginning. Two and three and. And then thumb finishes the four on the fourth string. One, two and three and four. So one more time together. Six and second. Thumb alone. Index on third, right? Then back to the six. Second string open thumb finishes on the fourth string. One, two, and three, and four. The entire verse and most of the song hinges on that pattern. So make sure you have it. Don't go on with this video until you have it. Do you have it? Do you have it? Do you have it yet? Practice it more. Practice it at nighttime. Practice it during the daytime. Practice it all the time, okay? Practice it. Cool, let's see that in action. All that happens for the beginning of the verse is we have that G and then we have the C slash G where we hammer those on. So it begins on the G chord, that same pattern, right, that I just showed you. Put it down, keep it down, lift it, back down and lift it. The, the ending's a little bit sparse, it's just one, two, three, and four, right, thumb, 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 third string, uh, when you hear the lyrics, that, that can help when you have the lyrics and you know when to do the hammer-ons and the pull-off, right? Um, I hear the drizzle of the rain. The next section is A minor. And then it's an A minor sus, so we lift our first finger. Right, sus two. But we also have a G in the bass. So our pinky's got to reach down there and snag that G. So it's like an A sus2 with a G in the bass. Really beautiful. Um, but it's the same pattern, except we move our right hand down a string set. So for the A minor, we're doing... Same idea, except our thumb is now doing 5 to 4. And it's together. So the first um, beat is together with the second string. Right? Fifth string and second. Thumb alone. I do the and on the third string. Right? One, two, and. And then one, two, and. Three is the thumb alone. And is the second string again. And then four is the thumb on the fourth string. So it's the same pattern, except instead of doing six, four, six, four, I'm doing um, five, four, five, four, and that's it. Sorry. That's the pattern, but it changes right away because I'm going to put the G in the bass immediately. So again, that pattern's the same as the very beginning of the verse because now I want to hit that low G with my thumb. So I went from doing this, but now I'm going back to hitting that low G right in the on the sixth string. So the same pattern again, right? Sixth string and second, thumb alone. Or sorry. Yeah, six and second together, thumb, index finger on the third, back to the sixth string, second, thumb. Ooh, now we have this fun little walk on a C chord. So I'm playing a C chord, right, just a normal C, and then my right hand, same idea, starting on the fifth string. Um, those are together, right? Same pattern as always. Those two together, right? Thumb and back to the fifth string. 
But instead of doing it all, we just do the beginning, right? One, and then thumb, and now check out the left hand. I just put a B, a second fret, fifth string, right? It's kind of implying like an inverted G chord, but kind of a little walk down. So that's on the C. Then when I put that B here, all that I'm doing is thumb on the fifth string, index on the third, thumb on the fourth, three and four. That's the rhythm beat there, right? One, two, and three and four, fifth, third, fourth, fifth, third, fourth. All right, now we have a B minor with an F sharp in the bass. So you wanna make sure that this first finger is also playing that low F sharp, right? We're playing both notes because the thumb drones back and forth on this chord. So it's not, it's a B minor with an F sharp in the bass going back between six and four. Same pattern, right? Um, together with the index or with the second string, right? Right, then thumb and on the fourth and third. One, two, and. Same as before, right? One, two, and three, and four. Cool, the only difference here, we do that once. Then the second revolution of it, Instead of playing the second string with that thumb, we play the highest string, right? So we play the sixth and the first together. So the beginning, it's the second and the sixth. Then you play the first and the sixth. And the pattern's the same. Let's recap so you're not confused. Here we are. do this cool little a little hopping thing it breaks the right hand pattern a little bit it's a G bar chord all right just a G major bar chord on the third fret here um, so it's hoppier because the patterns different he adds a, a note on the upbeat of the first one here so the thumbs alone then it's the third string then the thumbs alone right one and and then it's a second string alone thumb thirds thumb second then it ends thumb third thumb alone thumb three thumb two thumb three thumb it quickly goes back to the B minor that we just played a second ago um, same pattern we did it before right B minor with the F sharp in the bass right six and two thumb alone Yep, just rewind the video if you're confused on that, just back to B minor. And now we have one more cool part. Another cool walking part. So we start on a G. It's um, thumb, six string and second together. So one, right? And then we have thumb on the fourth, middle alone, right? Nothing too new there. But then we have a walk. And that's it, so. Then it's just open A, and then B. Then he's walking up to a C chord. The pattern here is a little bit different. One, two, and three, and four, one. So there's no and on the one. It's one, two, and is on the third string. Three, and on that three is on the second string. One, two, and three, and four. Right, thumb, thumb, third, thumb, second, thumb. And then when we repeat it back to the one beat, we have the thumb with the first string open. But then it ends the same way. So those are together. Right, fifth and first. Thumb and on the third. Thumb and on the second. Thumb alone. Has a cool sta staggered like feel to it. And now we're back to the A minor and G and we're almost at the end of the verse. And guess what? This song doesn't have a chorus.
So we're almost there. All right, so A minor, right? Same idea. We've already done it. Rewind the video if you forgot. A minor, put the G in the bass, lift the first finger for that A minor sus chord. And then it ends on a D major. Um, so the thumb's going between the fourth and the third here, right? So our, we moved our hand much higher to get the open D first. Um, thumb second, thumb first, thumb second, thumb. Can you believe it? You're so good. Let's finish it up. When I go back to the G chord at the end, we just have a different hammer-on pattern. It's the same right hand pattern. One, two, and, but we hammer on there. So one, two, and three. Right after I play that three, I drop these two fingers to get ready for the next part. One, two, and three, and four. Lift them, put them down, lift, down. And then it just ends all G. One, two, and three, and four. Same right hand pattern. One little anomaly here. In the second verse, when he says, in England, he skips the A sus chord, right? So he goes from A minor straight to the D. To England, where my heart lies. And then this part's awesome. So on the end of that verse, and I think a later one in the song, he slides that. C slee and I can't talk. C slash G chord up. Two frets. So let me show you that. Um we slide it up, but he also puts his pinky on the fifth fret of the of the high E string, right? The first string. The pinky goes down on the fifth fret. Really, really cool. So the pattern, I think it's the same. Um oh yeah. So together. Um, six and two, right, thumb and then third, together, two and three, then it's the second string again, and four, then the first beat instead of being on the second string now is on the first string to get that nice high um, A on top there, right? Uh, so. It's the same pattern, so it's six with one, thumb alone, um, yeah. Oh, if you've come this far and you can play this song, you are glorious, doesn't it feel glorious? And if you haven't, that's okay, the song is really hard, you're not going to learn it in one sitting, it is a labor of love. So even if you have to take just one cool little pattern that you like and work on that for a week or two, do that. And you can always come back to this video. Just remember to subscribe and bookmark and like and share it with all your friends. But if you've come this far, you are awesome. That means you, you know the coolest version of Kathy's song there is. And the only, other, the only way you'd learn a cooler version is if you were on the New York subway and you ran into Paul Simon himself. Right? Or was it Art Garfunkel? No one likes Garfunkel. It must have been Paul Simon who played the guitar and sang this one, right? Yes. So the only way you know better version, if you met Paul Simon on the subway and he pulled you aside and he said, come here, kid, let me show you how to play that song. Except that it's been so long since Paul Simon played this song and he's got these old man fingers that Paul Simon couldn't even teach you the song better than I just taught you the song. I know this song better than Paul Simon. Except I can't sing half as good. Guess what? This song.